Brunel sprints out of the dugout to the mound. He made six exhibition starts, five in the Grapefruit League, one against his AAA team, the Sugarland Space Cowboys, here at Minute Maid Park. Now, his first regular season start of 2024, coming against the Toronto Blue Jays. Boy, Blanco working quickly, but he has walked to Springer to lead off the ball game. How about Renal Blanco coming back after the walk? They get Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Got to believe there's a chance Springer's running here. Turner can make contact. He is not. And it's hit sharply down to third. Backhanded by Bregman. The second one and on to first. Safe. As Abreu could not come up with the throw. But it looked like Abreu had a shot at it. Can't charge an error there. It'll just be a fielder's choice. 2-2 two -two pitch. Call third strike. Renal Blanco picks up a strikeout with a changeup. Two strikeouts in the inning, both with the combio. Nice job, Ernell, on the new pitch. None of these guys have seen Bowden Francis. Yeah, generally when you have a veteran team like the Astros, they kind of struggle the first time they face the pitcher. They don't have any first-hand knowledge of what they're dealing with. The 27-year-old delivers. Altuve doesn't mind if he faces somebody for the first time. He is always aggressive. And a good base running maneuver not to try and stretch that into two. Marshall played that very well. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Fastball cut on him. It's strike three. Beat Alvarez with a good heater there for the first out. Here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker hits this in the air deep to left center. Back is Marshall looking up. See you later. Kyle Tucker checks in with his first home run of the year. It's a two run shot and a two to nothing Astros lead. King Tuck is on the board with number one. He had to go to the opposite of his kingdom. His legion is out there in right field, but he gave a little pleasant surprise to the Crawford box. That was a very well struck baseball. One and two, and does it again. Back to back curveballs as Francis strikes him out. So two down for the catcher, Yiner Diaz. Hit 23 home runs last year. Not exactly a household name. Yiner hits one high, deep, four. Get about it up on the trade track. Trade number 21 has just left Union Station at 3 0 Astros. That was a Yiner bomb. 435 beautiful feet up onto the train tracks for Yiner Diaz. My goodness. Curveball's been a good pitch for him so far as he strikes out Abreu with it. So Francis strikes out three, but gives up three runs as well. 3 0 Astros as we go to the top of the second. Round ball hits to the right side. Altuve to his left, picks it up, throws to first, one out. Here's a 2 1 pitch grounded to short. Easy play for Pena. That's the second out. Three soft ground balls in the inning. Renel Blanco has been strong tonight through two innings. Astros lead the Blue Jays 3-0 as we go to the bottom of the second. Now it's Jeremy Pena's turn. Astros shortstop. Pena 6 for 15, a 400 hitter. No home runs, no RBIs. First pitch. And Pena cranks it deep to left field. And you can kiss that one goodbye. Off the community leader's side. Jeremy Pena goes deep. And the Astros lead 4 to nothing. Number one for Pena. And his first since July 5th of last year. Oh, what a feeling for Jeremy. We saw it coming, and a lot of congratulations and high fives in the dugout. Pena had the second longest active homerless streak in the big leagues. It had been 326 plate appearances since his last homer. Blanco has retired seven in a row now. Blanco through three innings, looking outstanding in his 24 debut. Top of the fourth inning, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. leads things off. You've got three punch in this game for Renel Blanco, and they've all been via that changeup. And it's been nice to see him build the confidence in that throughout the course of spring training. And now he has brought it into the regular season. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the changeup is gorgeous tonight. Renel's got a new weapon, and he has four strikeouts with him. One, two. Tip foul into the catcher's glove. Strike three. Back to back strikeouts. Fifth punch out for Ronell. And he is dealing right now and being pretty efficient pitch wise, too. Strikes out the side. Ronell Blanco. Have yourself a debut in 24. Bottom of the fourth, 4 0 lead. Here's Chaz McCormick. Chaz hooks one down the line, and that's a fair ball into the corner. Chaz will make the turn. Watch out. Marshall plays it well. What a throw just in safely as Chaz McCormick. That ball is an easy double against a lot of left fielders. Marshall made it close. It's a 1-0 count to the ninth place hitter, Jake Myers. Fist this one down the left field line. That's got some carry, and it's off the wall. 
McCormick scores easily. They'll hold Myers to a single as Myers muscles one off the out-of-town scoreboard, and it's 5-0. Bernal Blanco yeah. is really showing why he made the team here in that first start of the season as he has now retired everybody since that leadoff walk to George Springer. Popped up behind home. Diaz gets rid of the mass, moves by the Blue Jays on deck circle, makes the one-handed grab just before getting to the screen. Two outs. Rolling along. 15 in a row sent down by Ronel Blanco. Blue Jays still looking to solve Ronel Blanco. He's allowed one base runner. Springer walked to lead off the first. Very economical Ronel Blanco with 61 pitches through the first five. 18 straight sent down by Ronel Blanco. His best start of his career. Astros lead 5-0. They have all nine hits in the second and third one out. Taney up the middle, off the mound, over Biggio in the center field. One run scores. Here comes McCormick. Kiermaier fumbles the ball. He'll score easily. 7-0 Astros. Pena, two RBI single. This has been a remarkable outing for Blanco, who's one out away from his longest outing of his career. Oh, yeah. The changeup has all seven strikeouts tonight. We're going to change Ronell's name to Cambio Blanco. Yeah, Senor Cambio every time he comes into the dugout because that changeup has been absolutely wicked. Blanco rocks and fires, and it's a high fly ball to center field. Myers has a bead on it, and there's two quick outs here in the seventh. Now he pops one up. This is going to be 21 in a row sent down by Blanco as Abreu puts it away. A brilliant outing through seven for Rennell after a leadoff walk. Blue Jays down seven, nothing, bottom of the seventh. Kyle Tucker, he gets into one towards right field, sending Springer back, looking up, gone! Number two on the night for King Tuck, and the Astros lead nine to nothing. King Tuck reigning supreme this evening. First home run to the opposite field, this one into that familiar territory, Kyle Tucker's kingdom in right field. One out for Diaz. He had a homer in the first. Yiner to right field. George back. Another one for Yiner. Two for Tuck. Two for Yiner. The Astros have double figures. It's 10 0. Get a little sauce on my second Yiner bomb. So far, Rodel Blanco, seven no hit innings, 27,000. 285 folks at Minute Maid Park tonight. Possibly with a chance to watch history. That's a ground ball, hits off of Blanco's glove. Dubon races to it, gets to it, throws to first in time. It helped the Astros that it was the catcher running, but Dubon still had to come and get that, score that 1-4-3 on the put out of Alejandro Kirk, one away. And here Rennell is having the night of his life at age 30. Gets another out here on a ground out for the second out of the eight. 0-2 to Kiermaier, crowd now getting into it. Pop fly left field. That'll be easy for Chaz. Another out on the changeup. Cambio Blanco rolling along. 24 in a row sent down. It is 10-0 Astro. And guess who's on the mound? Isaiah Kiner-Falefa, the Blue Jays infielder, is going to pitch an inning here for Toronto. This is Gray Kessinger coming on to pinch hit for Jordan Alvarez. The scoop by Vladdy. They got him. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa does the job that he was asked to do. Ronel Blanco on the mound, ninth inning, has an allowed a hit, 0-1. Brown ball right back to Blanco. Jocks part of the way to first, underhands in plenty of time. One out in the ninth. Crowd embracing the momentum and the magnificence. Having Biggio bats for the third time. Brown ball, backhanded by Abreu. He'll flip to Blanco, out at first base. Jose Abreu saves the day, one out away for history for Rennell. Springer walks for the second time tonight. He's the only Blue Jay to reach base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., the batter. Can he put him away? Can he make history? Not holding on Springer at first. Ground ball. Dubon throws the first. No hitter. Rennell Blanco in his eighth career start. The 30-year-old. Makes magic on April Fool's Day. Ronel Blanco has thrown the 17th no-hitter in Houston Astros history as the Astros defeat the Toronto Blue Jays 10 to nothing.